Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well today. By demand from you guys, I'm going to try the Flanker SU35 mod out, the Flanker E. You need to come to this page here. I'll link it in the video description so you can come and find that if you want. Just click download and it is going to uh, do a little download. You can see at the bottom left there on Windows 10, it'll download it into your uh, downloads area. And I'm going to cancel that because I downloaded it earlier. Then I'm going to go to my downloads area. I'm going to find it there i'm going to go into it uh, this is it's a zip file go into it uh, you'll see this folder in here the left uh, control and c to copy it now we're going to go and find our save games you will probably find your save games folder on c drive users whichever user you are saved games that's would be probably where yours is i've actually moved mine and i've got a video on how to move it if you want that uh, i've put it in here on, on my f drive i'm going to go to dcs or DCS Open Beta, then create a folder called Mods exactly as I have there if there isn't already one, then create a folder called Aircraft exactly as I have there and unless you have it already, go in there, paste it in, take a few seconds and that's, uh, in fact I've already done it, I've already got it there as you can see. So that is how you do it, it's as simple as that, when you're bored of it, you want to get rid of it, come in, it, come in here, delete it. We're in now, note I've only tested this in 2.5.6.47404, that's the version of DTS, I haven't tried any of those, so please don't come back to me and say I've tried it in another version, it doesn't work, sorry, but nothing I can do about that. Mission Editor, uh, let's go and load up a mission. Here's one I did earlier. So I've created a plane. I've gone to here. I've selected SU-35, SU-35S. In terms of kit, they're pretty well loaded out. So we've got this guy here. We can have in the middle here a Phantasmagoria Elint pod, fuel tanks, bombs, all the usual stuff that we used to, plus a 1500, 3000 pound Mike 54, plus anything else interesting there. You've got TV guided bomb there, laser guided bomb there. All of it should work. We've got in these pylons, Ed Air Missiles. Uh, oh, these are all normal. This one's a 77 Mike uh, and add a Charlie with improved uh, mechanics. So that's cool. Air to ground. We've got a KH-25 ML, a MPU. I think that's the anti-radiation variant. Laser variant. Uh, 29 laser, 29 uh, optical. And a 31P uh, long-range cruise um, anti-radiation missile, I think that is. Bombs. Pretty much the same stuff as we saw before there. Uh, what else have we got? Pods. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, Air-to-air -air missiles here. Have I just missed a whole load of air to ground? No, we're going over that. Air-to-air -air missiles here. We've now got the Archer Lima, as well as the old Archer, and again, the Adas Charlie again, otherwise the same. Air-to-air -ground missiles the same. Bombs. A whole load of them, as you can see. Just wonder if there's anything particularly interesting to point out. Uh, note that you can get, I think these are twin mounted uh, dispenser pods which i don't think anyone else gets i may be wrong with that let me know rockets all the usual rockets including the mighty s25 and it's going to go on in that vein i don't think there's anything we've missed there loads of cool stuff so let's go and take some cool stuff to use put up some cool targets i've got a mixture of everything i've got a 25 mpu i've got kh 2090s i've got the long range anti-radiation missiles a mixture of uh, air to air weapons let's go and give them a go we're in now now this is what i call a frankenstein mod so what they've done is they've mixed all sorts of planes together so you got the cockpit of the su-33 you got the outside of the su-35 you've got the controls in here of the SU-25, uh, which brings it to all of its own complications. Uh, the main thing I want to point out is under Act. So set it up like you're setting up an SU-25 is what I'm trying to say to you. The only thing to be careful of is you've got pitch SDU, roll SDU, and thrust SD. Sorry, uh, rudder. Oh, I haven't set my rudder. <laughs> I can show you now. A rudder SDU there, uh, which I recommend rather than having the non-SDU. We have no idea what the reason for it is, but... Um, the instructions are all in Russian, so if anyone wants to translate, be my guest. But I can't translate it. Inside, you'll have a wobbly stick that doesn't work, but it does work. Don't ask me why. Um, not much more I can say about that. Uh, let's have a look at the outside. <laughs> I tried to put the, uh, the fueling probe out, and it went mental. I'm about to put that back in. Cool weapons, look at those weapons there, those big things. OVT, Oveagle Vector Thrust. Into Fox 2. Splash target. 
which is pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. So pretty cool model. Uh, what should we go and do first, GD? I think I might go and do some air to ground. So, punch the throttles. Try not to crash. Ignore the fact the stick doesn't move. Pull cool. as hard as you can. Pull as hard as you can, yeah. Yeah. We haven't mastered the vector thrust yet. We'll come back to that in a bit because I'm still not sure how to get that to work fully. Okay, we're going to go air to put the gear up, put the flaps up, already done. Uh, put the hook in. I don't know why that's even there. Let's press air to ground mode. Uh, let's turn our electro optical system on. Let's find a target to go and lock. We'll choose our uh, 29 tangos, which are probably one of my favourite Russian missiles. Let's go and have a look for a target. Tally targets on that runway. Definite targets. Let's get some distance. Okay, we're rolling in on target now. I haven't set my trim up, which is a bit annoying, but... Okay, I'm going to move my system down to the runway. See if I can find some bad guys. Ground stabilised. Oh, I've got launch authorised. So I think I can actually shoot bits of ground, which is pretty cool. Okay, targets. And cap is rifle or whatever you say for a 29. And I'm going to try and find another target. That guy there, maybe. Another one. Off they go. So, flanker with guided uh, air to ground ammunition is pretty cool. Wonder if I can fire an F 25. No, I can't because it's a radar guided. Boom! Down. Boom! Down. Pretty satisfying, I can tell you that. Uh, next, we're going to go and do some elint. So, elint pod on with I. Go and find a hostile radiation source. There it is. Okay, and let's move this TDC to the guy. If you're wondering why I'm saying this without explaining the controls, it's all the same as an SU-25. It's just an SU-25. Uh, we're going to fire the missile. Can't because I don't have launch authority. So. Launch, yeah, launch. Yeah, yeah. It's going well, to get. There is an override for it, but yeah, it's going to get launch authority override because I'm not in parameters at the moment. But I just want to show the missile off quickly. So uh, I'm going to Q, press Q for over launch. Okay, uh, what is my range out of interest? I'm just going to give it a bit more. And cap is wait for it. Rifle. Magnum, sorry. Oh, I fired an MPU by accident. Ha <laughs> ha, my bad. There's a big boy. There's a big boy. Uh, that's the that's the SA6. That's the KH25 I shot. That's uh, what I meant to be shooting, which is the big funky missile. Look at that. They should be far and forget, so I'm getting out of here. You make use of that vector thrust, RC. Look, they're passing. Shit, I better get out of here, RC. It's going up. Oh, the 25's going in. The sexy one's going to catch the 25 up, look. Fox Street. This is so friggin' cool. I want this missile in my life. Can you get them, JD? Oh, shit! I need the rocket engine work that time. What's the warhead on that? It's because I, was I wasn't in parameters last time I messed up. Look at the warhead on it! Boom! Pretty cool, huh? Um, so that is showing the Elink capabilities with the KH-25 MPU and the KH-31P. Uh, the bombs just work, as you'd imagine, as a normal flanker and rocket, so I'm not going to bother showing that. Let's have a play with the vector thrust. This is a bit controversial. So I've got it just in normal mode at the moment, and the Oviegle uh, doodles on the back work, look. Or they're modelled at least. Oh no, they're not working now. Right. They work a bit. So what we do? Pitching all the way down. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they're designed to work properly like that. So what you do is you press uh, uh, S for ASC, and I think it in, engages them properly. Uh, so S. Woo! Cobra. Look at them. They're awesome. <laughs> I wonder if I can balance in the air, like like a rocket. Heck of a corner, man. Oh, oh gun works. I mean, how well oh, this is modelled. Shells falling out. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, I don't really know if this. Is, what this probably is 
uh, is just the SU33 without the fly-by-wire on. It's probably not got modelled um, vectored thrust because if it did, I could actually turn out of this and I can't turn out of it. So it's probably just the normal fly-by-wire override. I wouldn't expect anything more. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not vectored thrust. Because I've got no authority with it. It looks great, don't let me wrong. It looks bloody amazing. Look at that. If you're wondering why the Raptors just go up and down and these go in and out, it is called Oveagle. So you can get extra yaw motion with them. Let me try and show you what I mean. So I mean, they go up and out and then down and in in a, in a V shape. Really cool. Uh, so I, as far as I can see, that's not vector trust, but you've got to admit that looks really cool and makes you feel like a boss. Again, completely stupid mod completely unrealistic in every way uh, but you know at the end of the day if you want to laugh it is a game at the end of the day come and fly if you want and download it um anything you think i've missed jd no i think that's it oh i suppose the viewers want to see a cobra stand by oh! <laughs> don't worry boys we'll cut that one out <laughs> that's what happened to me when i did it <laughs> Do not do a Cobra over 700 clicks per hour, that happens. Oh dear. So the 35 is the ground attack version based on an SU-25. The S version is based on a flanker because it's got the full uh, air to air mode. And then you'd go and drive that just like a normal flanker. Okay, we're in the S model now, which our beautiful guys have figured out is the air to air version. Gear up. Ooh. Okay, bad guys, fuck them up. Okay, so with the new 77 variant, I'm getting, uh, in this particular engagement, fairly low down, about 20 kilometers, which feels like normal to be honest, maybe different, but... There you go. Launch authorized. Box 3. Son of a bitch dodged it. Oh. Launch authorized. He's not going to dodge it. Launch authorized. Go for one of the new 73s. Woohoo! Boom. Okay. More, more of the story. The S is based on the flanker and drives like a flanker with slightly improved missiles. Mm, nothing else to say, really. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.